Hey there, I'm back with my weekly update, what I've been reading, traveling, watching, eating and drinking, and other stuff that's gone on the past seven days. Let's take a look. Welcome to Fantasy for the Ages, the show where a father and son talk about fantasy, science fiction, and other nerdy things that we feel like talking about. That's part of what you're going to find here today, as I give you my weekly update, the last seven days of activities, things related to this channel, and life in general. If you enjoy what you see today, let me know, hit the like button, and we hope you subscribe to our channel. We have so much here for you to find, and we think you'll enjoy, so take a look books I'm reading. What am I up to right now? Well, I am still reading, of course, Toll the Hounds, Malazan, book eight. I'm getting close to 40% through now. There's so much going on in this book. So many elements. And, and I find myself using the Malazan wiki again and again, because I'm like, who's that guy? I know that guy. I got to look him up. I never want to see anything about him or her in Toll the Hounds. But the previous books, I know these people, but there's been so much there. And, and so I've been going back and checking these people. And wow, it's so rich. There's so much that's happened. And I remember all the things when I see them on the wiki. I'm finding that actually very enriching and hoping I don't stumble over spoilers. I finished Searching for Zen, A Tale of Divine Destiny by Albert T. Franklin. I've got a episode out on it. It came out just yesterday. So check that out, a self-published book that I, I find myself saying again and again, it's, it's kind of odd, but in a good way. So I would not discourage anyone from reading it. I'm glad I did take a look at that episode. But when I finished it, it meant I could move on to another book for my physical reads. And this time I moved down to Down Below Beyond by T.A. Bruno. This is a science fiction standalone novel. It's set in a universe... Uh, that he's already written in before, and I'm sure plans to write in again. But you don't need to have read the other stuff, which is good, because I haven't. And I'm only one chapter in, but instantly hooked. He sucks you right into the world. You get to see what's going on here. This is a, a fantastic story already, and I'm eager to keep reading. That's the way an author should lead you into a story. Just grab you, immerse you and make you hungry for more. Well done. I finished in my Audible reads The Burning God, R.F. Kuang's final book in the Poppy War trilogy. In fact, between when I recorded last week's episode and actually published it, I got the book done. I was that close. So that's fantastic. With the Poppy War trilogy behind me, Zach and I are getting together this coming weekend to do a full spoil review conversation, destruction of the entire Poppy War trilogy. So watch for that episode soon. That's going to be fun. With that done, I got to move on to something else. And I pulled out a book I was not as sure about. One of 2023's hottest books, The Ferryman by Justin Cronin. Science fiction, I thought, pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it's science fiction, but really good science fiction with a great level of mystery and discovery as you move through the book. I'm about 65% in now. I am so hooked and I will finish this book pretty darn quick. Uh, any chance I have to listen, I'm listening. It's fantastic and makes me want to read more Justin Cronin. If you haven't checked out The Ferryman and you would all like anything related to science fiction, and we're not talking needs to be hard science fiction, uh, it can just be light science fiction, and a little bit of mystery, uh, check out The Ferryman. Wow. Okay, places I've been. After a bunch of travel the last few weeks, I went very little of anywhere this week. Mostly stayed close to home, right here in my hometown. But Judy and I did go somewhere on Saturday afternoon. We went out into the Columbia River Gorge to White Salmon, Washington, which is just across the river from Hood River, Oregon. And it's a much better location than Hood River, Oregon, because you can look across the river and see behind Hood River the beautiful view of Mount Hood, a volcano somewhat dormant right now. It's not extinct, but 
there's no signs of it blowing anytime soon. It's a great ski location, but when you look at Mount Hood, that's what mountains are supposed to look like. That's how I drew them as a kid. I mean, it's a classic looking mountain standing all there higher than everything else around it. And it's beautiful. But White Salmon is a beautiful town to visit. We were there for the annual Wildflower Wine Walk, where you walk through a number of locations in downtown White Salmon, quaint little town, and you taste different wines at all these different locations. Some of them are uh, wine tasting rooms. There's a bunch of them. But there's also unique shops and restaurants and hotels, and you get a nice flavor of the town while you're enjoying some flavor of the town. We had a great time. The weather was gorgeous. Uh, we were in the low 80s and dropped into the upper 70s during our couple of hours, three hours in town. Uh, we had some dinner at one of the nice restaurants when we were done walking around tasting. And we said to ourselves, we need to come back. White Salmon's got it going on. So if you're at all in the area, just uh, about an hour and a half, not quite an hour and a half east from Portland, Oregon, check out. White Salmon, Washington. You won't be sorry. Things I've watched. More cooking shows. I'm not going to bore you. Just the cooking shows. We keep watching them and we keep loving them. I also watched a little more of season two of The Man in the High Castle. The show keeps delivering. I don't know if it will all the way to the end of the run, but season two is looking great. And I stumbled on some family feud clip collections on YouTube with Steve Harvey. These suckers are hilarious and addictive. My wife and I both were watching a whole bunch of these. This is part of how we made it to what I'm going to talk about in the shout out. So let me roll into the shout out. And this has to do with the backdrop here today because them, the Northern Lights people, the Aurora Borealis, and my shout out this week is to God for that crazy light show he put on as the universe was showing off with uh, this geomagnetic storm that hit from the sun onto the planet this weekend. And all the way down as far as the southern U.S. states, you could see crazy light shows going on like you just don't see. I lived in Alaska for seven years, and I never saw the northern lights on display like I did in my backyard just outside Portland, Oregon. Wow. So we stayed up until 2.30 in the morning to get the best shots. And, I mean, I just took these with my iPhone, people. Gorgeous. So, yeah, the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. If you missed them, well, just go online. Everybody's posting their pictures. Because iPhones, they're making us all look awesome now. It was fine that the timing was also a Friday night, Saturday morning, because we had no plans for Saturday except for that wine walk late in the afternoon. So we just slept in and then got up. And went for a beautiful drive and drank some wine and had some food. And what a wonderful weekend. Most watched episode and short of this week. I'm really interested to see where the most watched episode is going to stop. Because we're talking the top 10 completed classic fantasy series. Which at this point is at 457 views and it's still climbing. Uh, we got a whole bunch of viewing hours on this one. People are commenting like crazy. I'm loving when an episode hits like this. And the engagement is so fun. So thanks for watching, everybody, and keep sending us your comments. A short this week that took off the most was Dad Jokes 52, Marvel style, with nearly 8,100 views. That's a lot of people who checked it out. Uh, I hope you groaned, because that's what Dad Jokes are for. The best comment of this week came from those uh, top 10 completed classic fantasy series. Not surprising, but this is from our friend Colin over at Colin's Corner YouTube channel. If you haven't checked out his channel, do so. Where he wrote, fantastic video. Thanks for blowing up my TBR to massive proportions. That's what we're here for. Okay, that's what I have for you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe again, and then come back next week to see what I've been reading and watching and doing again. We'll talk to you next time.